Hello everybody, welcome to Wednesday, Wednesday with a water bottle. I hope everybody is doing okay. Um, I'm seeing a warning, apparently there's a lot of things going on on YouTube on Wednesday at this time, because uh, I'm getting another one of those warnings. Um, so it may not be, the video stream may not be absolutely smooth, but we're going to just keep going with it. Uh, the past two Wednesdays, I've gotten this warning, and then it goes away after about five or ten minutes. All right. So let me get the screen set up. Where is, huh. Well, that's interesting. Okay, well, let's open that program then. By the way, you can say hi to a, dog, a puppy if you want. <laughs> well, we had something else here. Uh, or, if you'd rather see some flowers, we can do that. Or, this is only if you've been drinking for lunch that you get to see a pink elephant. But it's an elephant giving you a hug. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know. I found a found a new part on the uh, on my program. Um, gotta have some fun sometimes, right? Okay. Welcome. Uh, welcome to Wednesday. Let's do some uh, Tai Chi together. All right. Uh, so we take our right hand and make it into a fist. Power, left hand, fingers together, friendship, tucking the thumb, remaining humble, and fist into the palm. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks so much for joining and uh, making Tai Chi part of your Wednesdays. Really do appreciate it, okay? Uh, let's do some deep breathing. On Wednesdays, we've been doing the um, five element Qigong breathing. I think everybody's enjoying that, so we're going to keep doing that. Um, remember, it goes from earth to metal, water, wood, and fire, both on this side and on this side, all right? Remember, earth is below the belly button, all right? So I'm sure you were concerned about this. <laughs> My belly button is, is located right about here, so the hand goes below the belly button, all right? So belly button's right here the hand is below the belly button that's where the dan tian is and i'm not touching the stomach but i'm out in front okay all right um that's where your dan tian is and what you're trying to do is you're trying to connect your lagong point which is the hard working it actually means hard working the lagong point to the dan tian and it doesn't connect well if you're up here. It connects much better if you're down here. If you want to find out where the Lagong point is, I turn my hand like this, you can kind of see a little bit. So if you take your fingers and kind of roll your fingers like this, as long as that's comfortable for you, between the middle finger and ring finger, right above this line in your hand here, right about in, whoops, where is it there? Right about in there is a spot and it's kind of a tender spot when you push on when you kind of find it um, it feels like it's you, do, you don't put a whole lot of pressure on it but it feels like it's kind of bruised and that's how you find the lagong point okay so it's right above again this line in your hand kind of between the ring finger and middle finger so it's right about here let me find it on this hand yeah right about there again it kind of feels like a bruised spot, okay? So you're trying to connect that point to the Dan Tien, um, not up here, okay? So that's why we come back to earth after each one because we create this cycle of chi, this cycle of energy, okay? All right, oh, we didn't bow in, did we? Uh, or did we? I don't know, I think we did not. Welcome, it's good to see everybody. Um, Qigong, five element breathing. We'll do six breaths for each element and return to earth for three breaths. I like that pace. I think that works out pretty well when we do that pace. Okay? So, hold on. I'm seeing something very weird on my screen. 
Oh, that's okay. Hang on. I just, uh, okay. Saw something very weird on my screen. It looked like uh, that nobody was watching and I thought I may have had a setting wrong, but it's because of the banner that's up. All right, did you understand all that? I didn't either. Okay, Wuji position. Um, Qigong, five element breathing. Come on, where's my producer when I need her, right? Qigong, five element breathing, starting with earth for six breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Moving to metal for six breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Return to earth for earth for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. To water for six breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Return to earth for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. On to wood for six breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Return to Earth for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. To metal for six breaths. Left hand, palm up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Reverse that. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Return to earth for three breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. There you have it. Qigong, five element breathing. Awesome. Well, it seemed to go by really fast today. Um, all right, let's move along. Let's do our warm up exercises, okay? Um, flow through these. Use the breathing we just were practicing in the Qigong and add that into the movements of the warm-up exercises, okay? All right. <clears throat> By the way, I know some of you out there are Cardinal fans, so uh, my nephew will be behind the plate for the first game of the Cardinals game tonight, or today. Well, actually, it starts in a like, ooh, actually, it starts in four hours from now. He will be behind the plate. All right. Warm-up exercises, starting with the chin tuck. Inhale, the hands up in front of us. Exhale, tucking in the chin. Inhale, hands come out. Chin gently floats up. Exhale, sink the chin to the chest. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Looking side to side, inhale to prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, left hand on top. Exhale, right hand, right shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, back to prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. Forward shoulder circle, shoulders back, up, inhale, forward, down, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Now reverse. Forward up, inhale, back, down, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Gathering chi, gently reaching for infinity. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Very nice. Touching heaven and earth. Inhale to prayer hands. Exhale. Left hand up, right hand down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, 
exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, back to prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. Carrying the ball side to side. Inhale to prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, left hand on top. Exhale, left. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale the ball over, back to prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. Beautiful. We're gonna move right on to the lower body exercises. Oh, somebody pushed like, thank you. Um, if you have anything that you would like to do this hour, go ahead and type it in in the comments, okay? Anything specific you would like to do, go ahead and type that in the comments while we're doing the uh, last three sets, six exercises, three sets of the warm-up exercises. So side to side hip exercises. Uh, make sure that you have a chair next to you. Make sure if it's a bad balance day, you have a second chair next to you. Somebody else pushed the like button. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, YouTube really counts those. So uh, make sure you're staying safe. Okay. Prayer hand position, push right, weight right, tap or float the left foot. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, back to prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. Forward and backward hip exercise, weight shifts right. Inhale, left heel. Exhale, left toe. I see comments are coming up. I can't read them from here. Inhale and exhale. Thank you for putting those up. Inhale and exhale. Back to center, other side, weight shifts left. Inhale, right heel. Exhale, right toe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And back to center. Heel kick is next, weight shift. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Bow stance is next. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. 
inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Sorry, I thought I saw a different kind of bird outside. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more time each side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Finish with the ankles, weight on the right, left foot. Inhale, left heel. Exhale, left toe. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Weight shifts left, right foot. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Weight shift, inhale, little toe, exhale, big toe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Other side, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, then exhale. And come back to the Wuji position. Beautiful. Sorry for that little pause. I saw a bird outside. I wasn't sure. It was either the way it was sitting, it didn't have the crown on its head. So it was a cardinal, but it could have been a scarlet tanger, but I couldn't see the beak and couldn't see the, the head. So, um, anywho, so it was a cardinal. It was not Molina, though, okay? All right, G said, ooh, let's start learning the diabetes and review Repulsing the Monkey. Sure, I can do both of those. Thank you. Thanks for that input. I appreciate that. Um, that helps me um, better focus on what you want to do. Okay, um, so let's first do the leg exercise. You know, it's kind of interesting. In my live classes, I joke about, yeah, I'd rather not do these. And almost inevitably, a lot of people in the live classes go, no, no, we really like these leg exercises. We really feel it's helping our balance and helping our leg strength. So I know you love them. <laughs> All right. So. Work on the posture, work on keeping the knee bent, okay? So weight shifts to the, by the way, Jeannie and Amy, thank you so much uh, for being here today. Thank you so much for letting me know what you uh, are wanting to learn today, okay? Weight shifts left, bend in the left knee, right foot, cat stance. Tap, right toe out in front, empty. Come back into the cat stance. And tap right toe out to the side. Cat stance once again. And tap right toe behind us, empty. Cat stance. And step into Wu Ji. Other side, weight shifts, right, left foot, cat stance. Tap, left toe out in front, empty. Cat stance once again. And tap, left toe out to the side. Cat stance. And tap left toe behind us. Keep plenty of space between the feet. Cat stance. And step into Wu Ji. 
Beautiful. Something I have also noticed with this exercise, I keep my hands kind of crossed over my Don Tien. When you get done with this exercise, look at how pink your hands are. Talk about circulating chi. It's a great way as you do the deep breathing with that exercise, your hands get all nice and pink and warm. Um, okay, so round two. By the way, if anybody else has any more suggestions, just type them up in the comments, all right? Round two, we're weight shifting. We step out empty, we shift our weight to that foot. As we come back, we also step empty and then fill that foot with weight, okay? Go in both directions, all righty? So, let's begin. Weight shifts, left, right foot, cat stance. Take this nice and slow, not trying to speed anything up. Tap the right toe out in front of us, empty. Set the right foot down with no weight, and then shift the weight to the right. All the weight goes right, tap or float left foot behind us. And then set the left foot down. Weight shifts to the left, and right cat stance. Tap, right toe out to the side, empty. Set the right foot down with no weight. Now shift the weight to the right. All the weight's right, so allowing me to tap or float the left foot. Set the left foot down. Weight shifts to the left. And right cat stance. Probably should have slowed that last one down just a little bit. Tap right toe behind us, empty. Set the right foot down. Weight shifts back to the right. Keep the back straight. All the weights on the right. Tap or float the left foot. Set the left foot down with no weight on it. Shift weight left. And right cat. Meow. And step back into Wu Ji. Other side, weight shifts right, left foot, cat stance. Tap, left toe out in front, empty. Set the left foot down with no weight on it. And now shift weight left. All the weights left, tap or float right foot behind us. Set the right foot down without any weight on it. Shift weight back to the right. And left cat stance. Tap left toe out to the side, empty. Set the left foot down, no weight. Now shift weight left, tap or float the right foot. Set the right foot down, no weight. Now shift weight right and left cat. Tap left toe behind us, empty. Set the left foot down, no weight on it. Now shift weight left, all the weights left, tap or float the right foot. And then set the right foot down. Weight shifts right and left cat. And step back into Wu Ji. Beautiful, all right, shake those legs loose. Got a couple more comments up on the board. Jenny, pic picture is fuzzy, oh. Okay, the dragon dance really helped me learn to root well. Yeah, it does. It really does help you learn to do that rooting. Um, it's a really good place to practice trying to um, Did that help. I don't know if that helped. Hang on, trying to work on focus. Picture focus, not. Tai Chi focus there. I think that should be better. Hopefully that's better. Um, either that or Ginny's been drinking her lunch again. Um, it does teach you to root. And the dragon dance is a really good way um, 
to break yourself of the habit of when your balance is getting bad to lift the leg up instead to sink down um, and also learn to re relax the foot a lot of times our feet kind of want to claw at the floor so instead learning to relax the foot when you have weight on it it uh, does a really good job uh, helping with that so uh, hopefully that picture is a little clearer now um, okay so let's look at repulsing the monkey um, by the way um, one of my uh, students Rebecca who might even be listening today um, <clears throat> she put together the part two with repulsing the monkey and she has the different directions on repulsing the monkey on that um, it's on my website document and training library uh, so you can pull that down um, and print it off uh, but it basically says that you know we do a brush knee from uh, north to west uh, well no, that, yeah well that would be the first part of the form um, but it talks about how we're, as we're like punching fist under elbow we're facing west and then as we repulse the monkey we move from west to south and then we move from south through west to north uh, so it has those directions on it okay uh, not really think I uh, think camera has been pulled further back. Oh, you're right. It has been. Um, and Judy says, um, okay, we'll get to the camera in a second. Judy said, would be so kind as to update your classes often on your website. Yes, you're right. I do need to do that. Um, since many of us have been vaccinated, we might be able to attend indoor classes and, of course, outdoor if we have the info. Yes, you are correct. That will not happen today. I can tell you that right now, though. Sorry. Um, I'm going to go be watching my nephew. So let me adjust the zoom first. That should be about right. Let me try and do focus from here. See if that helps. Okay. I will try and update my classes over uh, on the website over the weekend, okay? Although it is Mother's Day, so on Sunday, um, which I bet everybody on this stream knew about. Hopefully that helped the camera, Jenny. Uh, let me know. Um, Judy, I will try and uh, update everything. I'm not uh, having classes tomorrow. They're predicting rain, and it's been a really long week, so... Um, so I'm not having Thursday classes, but I'll, I'll get better at updating those, okay? I actually have a thing percolating in my head. I may change. So, um, I thought I heard Sophia coming. Apparently not. Okay. Um, repulsing the monkey. So, let me see. Might just be me. Whenever convenient, thanks. Um... The autofocus is tough because it's for trying to focus on a blank wall. So if Sophia comes through, I'll see if I can snag her um, to help me with the autofocus. That's about as good as that's going to get unless I have some help. Uh, picture on, has been fine all along. Okay. Um, maybe it is on your end. Maybe it's streaming slow on your end or your internet connection might be a little uh, fuzzy, Jenny. Um, repulsing the monkey so as we start out think of repulsing the monkey as a brush knee okay going back to Amy's original think of repulsing the monkey as a brush knee movement it has a different name because it has a different martial art intent and um, repulsing the monkey the yang style of repulsing the monkey is moving backwards so the yang style of repulsing the monkey uh, we're actually moving backwards and so if you think of this brush knee the first one doesn't seem so much like you're moving backwards except you're facing the back of the room but then you do this 180 degree turn um, and so but think of it in your mind think of it as a brush knee um, and that will help you uh, with it okay so so as we do the, the second part, we do a brush knee to the right and we leisurely tie the coat. We come back to prayer hands, we do the modified single whip and we punch fist under elbow, okay? And that takes us to repulsing the monkey. So 
as we do this, I'm going to use this is going to be north. So the Chinese calligraphy piece is north. OK, the Chinese lantern is east and Mr. Panda and Hippo are sitting to the west. The camera position will be south. OK, so I am facing the west all the weights on the left foot. I do a half step with the right. The left hand is at a 90 degree angle and I've punched the right fist towards or underneath the elbow. OK, so my first repulsing the monkey is going to be towards the camera. I'm going to help myself out by turning the upper body slightly, stepping back on the right foot. The weight is going to shift to the right. My hands come up in yin yang palms and I do a half step with the left foot. Now with that left foot, I'm going to step towards the camera, towards the south, the back of the room. So I step out with that left foot. Notice space between my feet and the left hand brushes the knee. The right hand pushes forward and I do a half step with the right foot. OK, second repulse the monkey. I'm turning back around and going to the front. Hello. So to do this one, I step straight back with the right foot. I see a lot of people will do this, but this puts you on a narrow base. All right. So step straight back with the right foot, shift the weight to the right, float the left toe and the left palm up. I toe in with the left foot, shift the weight to the left. And then I do this sweeping step with the right foot. So the sweeping step with the right foot again, notice space between the feet. And the right hand brushes the knee and the left hand pushes forward and do a half step with the left foot. OK, and then we do this little do si do movement where we do a brush knee once again. Let me turn this light out. That can be distracting. All right. So let me do this one other way. OK, so I started the brush knee in this direction, but let me do it kind of towards you so you get to see it from the side. OK. So now the camera position would be west. I'm doing a brush knee to the back of the room. Half step, step straight back, float the hand up. I toe in. I'm sinking now. See, I'm back towards the west, which would be the camera position. And I step and I brush knee or repulsing the monkey. And now is where I do that little do -si do step. OK. So when you're working on repulsing the monkey, make sure you have your footwork right. One of the best things to do <clears throat> is to start out, not worry about the hands, but all the weight on the left, half step right foot, turn the upper body, step straight back with the right foot, shift the weight right, half step left foot, cat stance, turn the direction you want to go. So towards the south sweeping step. Remember, this is a sweeping step with this foot. I'm not stepping out here, but you're kind of this is that backwards that I'm talking about that retreating movement why it's called repulsing the monkey. And then the weight shifts onto the left half step right foot. Step straight back with that right foot. See nice space between the feet. Weight shifts back. I toe in. If you're able to look at me from this direction, nice spacing between the feet here. You can kind of see that here. I have plenty of space between my feet. And I wait shift left, sweeping step right. Again, keeping that space between my feet, weight shifts right, half step left foot. OK, again, I don't know which direction to show this one from. But this um, once you are facing the back of the room, um, resist that urge to step in like this because then as I turn now my feet are together they're touching one another so I have that narrow base okay I hope that answered all of your questions about repulsing the monkey um, break it down to the feet first and that will help you okay all right so let's practice Tai Chi for arthritis with music parts one part two and then we will move on to um, Tai Chi for diabetes. OK, that started a little fast for me. OK, um, let's go ahead and do this. Tai Chi for arthritis, part one, part two. 
And when I get to repulse the monkey, I'll try and break it down a little slower. Okay. All right. Um, preparation position, heels together, legs straight, but not locked out. Um, head lifted by a silk thread. And let's begin. Commencement. Open and close, part two. Modified single whip, moving into punching fist under elbow. We covered this last week. And here's the repulsing the monkey. I'm presently facing west. I turn, step back on the right, half step left foot. Sweeping step, brush knee, repulse monkey to the back of the room. Step straight back with that right foot, float left toe, left palm up, toe in. Sweeping step, right foot, repulsing the monkey. Half step. Do this little do -si do step. And brush knee left. Leisurely tying the coat.
open and close. Brush knee left. Modified single whip into punching fist under elbow. And here's our next opportunity to practice repulsing the monkey. Step back on the left, yin yang palms. Step towards the back of the room, right foot leads, half step. Step straight back, left, float right palm, right toe up as I toe in. Sink weight right, sweeping step, left foot. Left hand brushes the knee, right hand pushes forward, half step. Little do -si do step, brush knee to the right. And leisurely tying the coat. Keep going, return to the front, heels together, open close. And close the form, hands out in front of us. Come back up to the standing position. A lot of times when I cue, it takes a little longer because I slow down to match my cues, but that's okay. Um, Amy, I hope that helped you out um, with the repulse of the monkey. I hope it helped everybody out uh, with that repulsing the monkey. Okay. Um, awesome. It felt good. It felt like a good pace. Um, <clears throat> going back to Repulse the Monkey for just one second. Um, it's all about weight shifting. So practice with the feet first until you feel comfortable. Keep running through it with the feet until you feel comfortable. Then add the hands in. And as you add the hands, you're going to start thinking about the hands more. But don't forget about what you learned with the feet and the weight shifting. And it's all about doing those complete weight shifts. So as I start out here, half step, I step back with that right foot. All the weight's right, half step left. Empty step, left foot. And I'm stepping to the back of the room, half step. Stepping straight back, shifting the weight back. Towing in all the weights on my right as I tow in left and then all the weight shifts left. Make sure all that weight is left that allows you to do that sweeping step. Again, noticing the space between my feet and then the weight shifts right, half step left foot. Okay. The other hint I would tell you, practice going to one side first. Practice the footwork, then practice the hands until that feels comfortable. Um, the first time we do it, we're going to the left side. So feel comfortable on that left side. Once you practice the left side, then go over and do the same thing to the right side. Start with the feet, add the hands, but you'll find it's going to go quicker for you on the right side. So awesome. Thank you, Amy. Um, okay. Uh, tai Chi for diabetes. Uh, we don't have time to go through that, but what I can do is let's review in part two of Tai Chi for Diabetes is grasping the bird's tail, which is a really, really cool move. It's actually four different moves, okay? So in grasping the bird's tail, let me do this once facing the camera. Uh, grasping the bird's tail, starts out in the cat and ball stance, then moves to ward off, then goes to rolling back, called roll back, press and push four moves turning back to the front okay let's just step through those we're going to, for the sake of time we're gonna to have to go through it kind of quickly uh, but uh, Jeannie please remind me next Wednesday I'll go through these in a little bit more detail all right we'll we'll cover the uh, the Tai Chi for diabetes um, please remind me, but I'll work on that next Wednesday, okay? 
Um, but let's kind of step through it one time, all right? Go through it once with cues. This is called grasping the bird's tail, grasping the swallow's tail, or stroking the swallow's tail. Starting out prayer hand position, we're gonna do it to the left to start with, all right? So weight shifts left, toe in right, sink the weight onto the right, the right hand palm is facing down, and the left hand comes into the cat stance, and the uh, left foot comes into cat, and left hand kind of tucks underneath. This is called cat and ball stance. My feet are in the cat stance, and I'm holding the ball on my right hip. I step out empty with the left foot, and as I shift the weight left, the left hand comes up to block, and the right hand pushes down. Same spot as if you were doing a brushed knee. So it looks like this from the front, this if you're doing follow on. The next is roll back. I bring a little bit more weight forward and I take both hands, um, yin yang palm, so looking at it in this direction, doing this. And then I roll, I bring my weight back onto the right and it's like I'm bringing both hands, palms facing one another. And now the left hand comes up in front of me to block. So if I'm doing it from this direction, I'm bringing the hands down, all the weights on that right, and the left hand comes up to block, and the right hand comes and supports it. The hand is on the wrist, okay? So follow on, I'm like this, and then I turn. Next, I do a press. press. My arms don't move. My body shifts forward. That is a press. That's one of the major moves of Tai Chi. Arms don't move body moves you're pressing against something and then we finish with push where i'm reaching out this is like embracing the tiger i'm reaching out the hands come to the chest notice i'm rolling up on the left heel hands come to the chest down to the belt line i sink back on that right foot and i push out driving up and out that's a push and i turn back towards the front as I adjust my feet, okay? Fortunately, I am gonna to have to stop there. You, I picked the part you don't know yet. Well, that's a good thing, right? Chance to learn it. So grasping the bird's tail. So you can go back and review that. That's a quick review of grasping the bird's tail. But again, remind me next Wednesday, I'll try and plant it in my brain and uh, we'll do a little bit more of the Tai Chi for diabetes, the Yang style, okay? Uh, my apologies, I've got, I'm teaching off-site, um, off this site, not in the dining room, um, in 45 minutes. So tighten up all the muscles of the body and relax. Tighten up the muscles, relax. And one more time, tighten up the muscles and relax. Finally, gathering chi, inhale and exhale. <clears throat> inhale, exhale, and one more time, inhale, and exhale. Thank you guys for everything. You guys are wonderful. Thank you for joining me on a Wednesday. Thanks for making Tai Chi part of your Wednesdays. Um, yes, <clears throat> so Judy, I'm working on a calendar function. Uh, for my page so you can kind of see where my classes are at every week um, While a lot of people are opening up a lot of the places I teach are not opening up and so That's creating a little bit of a dichotomy as this all works works its way through works its way through Okay, so thank you guys very much have a good week. I will be on the APDA channel on Friday and we'll be back on my YouTube channel on Monday. Um, have a great weekend, okay?